Hey, welcome back to Let's Take. It's your boy Loki, and today we got something special. First of all, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been here supporting me past these few years, and literally amazing. Thank you for that, and a happy new year. We're gonna start 2021 really amazing. It's gonna be a great year, and to start off the year, I want to announce something. I want to announce a new type of videos. So every Friday, I'm gonna be posting smart home tech it's going to be called smart home tech with lucky that's going to be every friday from now onwards so make sure you hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out any of my videos so in the past i've done a lot of smart home products from bulbs to smart lights vacuums cameras everything so now i'm just going to be really focusing on that that's going to be on every friday so make sure you stick around for that and to start the new year, I want to do a giveaway, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video for that. But yeah, let's begin with the video. Thank you for watching LS Tech. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, enable notification with the little bell icon so you don't miss out any of my latest videos. Hey, welcome back to Smart Home Tech with Lucky, and in this episode, we are going to be checking out the Google Home Nest mini this is google's smart entries to the home and it's on the budget side of 50 dollars yes i know you can pick up the amazon alexa for 50 as well but i have preferred to go over for the google home system because i've used it in the past i've tried alexa in the start as well can't be complicated i like the google interface much better so i've stick with that and since then I've just used Google Home Assistant product and I have a huge range of products now from smart speakers to lights, to light strips, ton of products, smart TVs. So got a good, huge experience on that. So just to give you experience, so if I get my phone out here, so if I go map here, you can see I have a huge selection of different products. So you can see I've got some smart speakers, big speakers, some TVs, a lot of light bulbs, different types of light bulbs. So you can see I've got some Hue plays, got some Christmas lights on, it's still Christmas. So you can see I've got a ton of different products from smart plugs. So I thought this would be a perfect time just to focus on this series and expand the house and just make it much smarter from, I don't know, we're just gonna see what we're gonna help and we will see how many different types of products I can find. I'll test everything out, I'll try it out, and of course, I will do some videos on Alexa and Siri as well. But today's video is going to be on the Google Nest Mini. I've just picked up mine now. This is the second generation, as you can see. Second generation. I'm going to be doing one of these as a giveaway. So I actually got two of them. I picked them on Black Friday for $25, which was very cheap. Normally, the reach was for $50, but I picked up two, so I'm going to be giving one away. So make sure you stick around for the end of the video for that. But yeah, so this is the box itself. We've got the Google logo and it's called Nest Mini now. Google have changed all of their home product to the Nest branding now. So that's really nice of them, just keeping it simple. So this is the Nest Mini. Of course, this is the second generation. I do have the first generation here in the aqua color, which I really love. But I picked up this in the white one. It has come in a chalk as well and it comes in a coral red as well and we do have a sky blue i was really wanted the sky blue but it was out of stock so i opted for the white one here as you can see we've got all the features we can do so we've got google music spotify google calendar google duo we even got the new range of ikea smart product which is amazing of course you got netflix and we play here in denmark on the back you can just see the picture of it on this side you've got the hey google command and of course, I'm going to do my best to mute all the Google commands so it doesn't activate your Google Home Minis at the home and go and do some random stuff. But yeah, let's just peel this packaging off. Let's get the box out. So inside, we've got the Google. Nest Mini itself. It's just called Nest Mini now, but yeah, let's put that to the side and see what else we get included. So we've got a pretty long cable. So inside we do have the little Google brick here. 
Of course, Google have now opted for a dedicated power brick, which I am not a big fan of. The previous generation used micro B, which was really much nicer, but this time they're opted for a dedicated plug, which I'm not a big fan of. Would have been nice to see type C, even micro B would have been fine, but a dedicated one, I'm not a big fan of. And the plug size is still decent and small, of course. I've got the EU version here, but of course this comes in the UK as well as USA version. Let's have a look at the documentary, see what we've got included. So we've got some simple setup guys, now to get everything set up and running. If you're not familiar with that, but I will go over that anyway. So let's just get rid of that and let's have a look at the device itself. So this looks really nice, I have to say. Of course, we've got the same design as the previous generation. So not a huge difference there. Let's get them out here. As you can see, they're very similar here. Of course, in the back, this one just had that rubber feet, but this one has it fully around, where the previous generation had plastic here, and then you had the rubber feet. But this one, the bottom is fully rubber, so that's nice. And of course, you have this new mounting slot. So we have this mounting slot here, very nice. So you can mount this on the wall, very simple, just a screw, and it will just be on flat on the wall, which is nice. So that's a nice touch room to add that. Of course, you can see micro b to that dedicated plug and of course you have that little mute switch there which is really great nice to use nothing much on the deep bottom here but design wise they look actually the same of course the new one has improved sound quality and mic array so that's really nice tiny improvement but it makes a huge difference and of course that mounting thing is so nice because i have one of these in the bathroom and i've mounted that using some sticky tapes so now with this, it will be much nicer and simpler to mount it against walls because I've seen so many third party mounting. And now you don't really need that. The Google just fits in there so nicely, which is really great touch of them. So of course on the front, you do have those four indicating LED lights there, as you can see on the old, old generation there. Of course you have your volume up and down buttons as well, which is really nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug this in, power, power it on and we'll do the setup. So it's now on, as you can see, we've got the four indicating light, they've said hi and everything, and it's asked me to set up using the Google Home app. So what I've done, I've opened my Google Home app here. So the simple way to do that is click on plus sign. Of course, you might have noticed I have the Google Nest setup mini because it's already detected it, but generally just hit the plus icon, set up device, and you want to set up something new. And it says Google Chrome crash Google Nest devices. So we're gonna click on that. And it's, of course it's gonna be in my home. And now it's looking for devices. So make sure it's powered on and you have those indicating light. And it should be looking and as you can see it's found. So let's just wait for that. As you can see it's found a Nest Mini. And of course that's the one I wanna set up. Now it's gonna be connecting to it. So it's a very simple pairing process here. Shouldn't take that long, a few seconds. Max a minute. Yes, did I hear the sound? So it's asking me, did I hear the sound? Of course, yes. So I want to hit yes. If I want to improve my nest feed, you can improve it. So I'm just going to let that happen as well. And now it's asking where I want to put this device. So as you can see, I already have my presets here. Of all the rooms I've got available. Of course, you can create more rooms, more places if you want. For now, I'm just going to put this in the office because I'm testing it in here. As you can see, it's asking if this one to be Office 2 speaker. Of course, yes. Right now, I'm going to be using this as a secondary one. Of course, it's asking me to connect to the Wi-Fi. So, of course, it will show up all the Wi-Fi. If you already have one connected, it will show up that. So, I'm going to hit Next. And then it's asking for the passwords. So, you just want to enter that. So, let me do that quickly. Now, it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. So, this might take a few seconds, a minute, depending on your internet connection. So, I'm still loading. And it's connected, so that's good. You can see the lights are now going up and down. And now it's asking me to set up Google Assistant. But I already have my voice pre-installed, so you shouldn't request me to do that. But if you haven't, it's going to ask you to do that. And you want to say the Google command words a few times, and it will recognize your voice, and then you can carry on with that setup. Of course, if you want to set up some personal resource, you can always do that. And of course you can change your voice so if you've got different ones you can do that. I'm just going to stick with one. And of course, 
and now it's asking my default music app so if you got spotify you can do that but i use google music so i'm just going to leave it at youtube music so on this page you can see you can add video service as well now which is nice so you can just tell your google home to play something from disney plus and netflix which is really nice and of course that will work on youtube by default but you can set up that later i'm just going to do that as well and of course if you do have google do you can use that to get phone calls and everything continued which is really nice you can do calls between google home minis and google phones as well which is really nice but i'm going to do that stay in touch of course with the latest features up to you i'll just sign up so i will get notified if there's something new google coming out which is always nice it enables me to test things and make videos on that but yeah and now i think i'm almost finished so the device name service i've got spotify and youtube music Wi-Fi and I've got my video calling as well. I love voice calling. I'm gonna hit next. And then you give me the control settings here as you can see. So let's just go through that. So for pause and play, so you just want to tap. So the center to pause and play. Volume up and down as you can see. Really nice. I think the LED light indicates the volume as well, which is really nice. So we're gonna hit next. And then it's showing where the mute switch is. So put my phone down. And if I find the switch here, I can then press it the off. The mic's off. And it lets me know the mic is off. The microphone is back on. The microphone is back on, so that's nice. So we're gonna hit next. And now this office speaker 2 is ready, which is this one. And Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. That's a bit loud, so it's already asking me. Of course, you can change. So, of course, it's already asking me to go on the Google Home app to see the things I can do, and it's already showing up here. As you can see, we've got music play, get answers, get stuff done, control your Chrome Christ, which is really nice. But I'm just going to hit finished, and if I scroll down to Office, you can see I have two speakers now. So, I've got this one here, I've got that one there as well, which is really nice. So. Of course, I'm going to put this somewhere else for now, but it works. So let's just try some stuff out and see how well it works. So if you want to change the voice of your Google at home, you can do that. So you just want to click on your icon here, go to assistant settings and it will be assistant voice. So you can see I've only got two options because I live here in Europe and Scandinavia. We've just got a female and a male voice, but depending on where you live, you might have different color options. So if so, you like this voice, that's the main version. Using it. using it, just stop here. And that's the female version. Of course, I'm just going to leave it the female version. It just sounds much better. So, let's just test out the Google Home Mini and get some answers. So, what's the weather like today? Today in Hainsvig, it'll be cloudy with a forecast high of two and a low of minus two. Right now, it's one degree with fog. So that's simple information. Let's try. It. Getting some lights here. Turn off the desk light. So you can that just went off in the background. Turn off the lights in the office. Okay, now both are now because I have two light strips and they are two different names. So one is called desk light and one is called hue light. So different names. But yeah, let's turn them on again. Turn on lights and office. Now they're both on. And of course, you can do color change as well. So change office lights to red. You can see now both of them change to red, which is really nice. So you've got the controls there from boys. You can just set other stuff like you can set reminders. There's just so many stuff I've got. Links in the description for so many things you can ask in Google. I've done over 100 different things you can ask, which is really amazing. So do check out those videos. But yeah, it's really nice. So it's very simple and it's just a really nice little device having around in the house. It's getting times, alarms, done. It's really handy. And of course, when you start adding more smart devices, you can start controlling them, turning on lights. There's so many things when you get smart vacuum cleaners doors cameras you can do so many things which is really nice but yeah this is my video on the google nest mini 
second generation i hope you enjoyed the video but as i said before i'm going to do a giveaway so so as i said previously i'm going to be doing a giveaway so i'm going to be giving out a nest minute to one of you to one of my lucky subscribers the only thing you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel leave a like and leave a comment on one of your great features of the google nest mini or even alexa or siri it doesn't matter what do you use your google nest for or what do you use your smart devices for is this to turn on light getting calendar updates or just weather updates let me know in the comment section and in two weeks time i'll pick a winner and on the 15th of january i will announce the winner on my channel so make sure you do not forget to subscribe leave a like and comment so you can win one of these little amazing nest minis but yeah as always thank you for watching the videos and thank you for all the support you've shown me over the years and i hope 2021 will be an amazing years i'm gonna have so many great contents videos i've got a lot of things planned out so make sure you are subscribed to my channel hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my latest video but as always thank you for watching the video and i will see you on the next one take care